Hello everybody, it's the time of day again, we are playing indie horror games and today we are playing Rooted in Darkness by Twas. Rooted in Darkness is a haunting and immersive low-poly horror experience that will take you on a journey through darkness and fear. The game features two short cutscenes and escape room-like gameplay. Okay, that's interesting. Created during the three-day Global Game Jam Gothenburg 2023 event and came in second place at the venue. Oh, fantastic, let's check it out. I like the pixelated, low-poly aesthetic. Ooh. Oh! That was a... That was a sudden beginning. We cannot interact with the door. Yeah, I like the low-poly aesthetic, but uh, these colors here are a bit too dark, especially with this filter. There's a key here. Where can we use the key? On a door or something? No. Yeah, I'm thinking it was that door. That's a body holding something. Very smooth gameplay, I have to admit. What is this? Uh, I did something. Ooh, and another door. More doors. Is that a screwdriver? Or a bat? Can't open this. Can't open this. Let's go back, I guess. I'm not particularly fond of uh, escape rooms, but sure, sometimes it's fun. Still can't open this. Maybe we can do something about you. And we've got a hand with a screwdriver. That guy felt like giving us a hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can unscrew these things here. And now it's even darker. Fantastic! So, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, now it's green, so I'm guessing it opens. Another key. That's not used to open the cabinet. Is somebody coming to get us because I'm hearing so many clanging noises? Oh. Oh, hello. I see the faces there, yeah, and the beating heart. We can use the heart. And we squeeze the heart. We pluck it out and... Oh, we really squeeze it. And boom. So that was rooted in darkness. Quite short, I have to say, but I am replaying because I think there is something we can do because... Well, obviously we can't go out through the front door. That would probably, you know, make it easier on us, but... We could never open this cabinet. And that bugs me. Can't use this, we use this key on this here door. If we turn off the power, we can open this door, yes. Turn off the power, and now we have to pick this knife, is it? Machete? I don't know. Can we do something about the cabinet? It really bugs me that we can't open it. Maybe with a screwdriver. Or maybe... Front door. I don't know, I'm... I'm kind of shooting in the dark here, no pun intended, but... I'm feeling there is something more to this. So now we get the key here. Can we use the key on the cabinet? No. Can we use the key on the front door? No. Can we reactivate this? No, we cannot. Can we reactivate this? No, we cannot. We just opened the door that leads to the heart. Maybe something else we could do. 
It's probably nothing. It's probably just my brain playing tricks on me that there is something more to this. But yeah, such games I want to thoroughly check. Oh, I thought I saw something and it creeped me out. Jeez. Okay, so I'm guessing that was Rooting in Darkness for a game made, I'm guessing, in short time for, you know, a game jam. It's fantastic. I don't know what won first place, but your game here is very, very, very good. So, yeah, I would like to see this more fleshed out. Like, we go in there, we grab the heart, we squeeze it. Make us move on to a next escape room, to the next escape room, to a bigger one or weirder one or something like that. But if you keep developing on this, if you go further with this, please don't make it unnecessarily big, like two main escape rooms or repeating riddles and all that. Just keep it short. Other than that, I have nothing to add. It's a fantastic short horror game, a nice short horror experience that everybody should go to the link in the description down below and download and try it out for themselves. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.